Half a day t e r o r m i n Good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Friday, September 7, 2012. In an exclusive interview with KSPN2, Governor Fidel opens up about House Resolution 17-111, a move to impeach the governor introduced by seven members of the House Minority Bloc. Governor Fidel shares his thoughts why the House Minority Bloc has resorted to introducing this resolution. He says with less than 60 days left for the midterm elections, Minority House leaders are vying for attention. I believe you know, the reason behind the uh, impeachment process is uh, to camouflage, you know, to hide the real reason. And the real reason is that uh, they have been you know, inactive. They haven't done anything you know, to help alleviate you know, the people's sufferings. you know, from high cost of power, you know, uh, retirement, you know, all those, uh, you know, major issues that are facing in the Commonwealth, especially the, the people. So, uh, because they don't have any strong justification for the people to re-elect them, you know, this coming election, I think they're pointing the fingers at me. House Resolution 17-111 lists 16 articles of impeachment including five acts of corruption, seven acts of neglect of duty, and four commissions of felonies. I am innocent. I've never been charged. I've never been arrested. Nor I've never been convicted of any of these 16 allegations. The 22-page resolution's impeachable offenses include failure to nominate a Supreme Court Chief Justice, failure to remit full contributions to the retirement fund, and the secretive signing of a 25-year, $190 million power purchase deal to Saipan Development, LLC. Can I just ask how you feel about all these allegations? Yeah, it really uh, you know, bothers me because uh, I strongly believe you know, that uh, none of the 16 allegations against me are, uh, you know, uh, uh, deserve uh, or are, have merit. In other words, uh, you know, they are frivolous. Some people are wondering, a lot of people are wondering, especially uh, with the recent departure of the AG, if you had anything to do with it. Governor, did you have anything to do with the departure of the AG? Did you misuse government resources? No. And that's one of the allegations which I, uh, you know, uh, flatly uh, denied. You know, the AG promised me that he will work for me or under me until the expiration of my term. So, well, they also, the uh, interview you had with the AG when he shed tears because he found out that he couldn't, you know, keep that promise. And basically, the AG resigned because uh, he, he is sick. He has health issues. The governor says he had nothing to do with local police officers shielding former Attorney General Ed Buckingham from being served a penal summons. But then your men, like Jermaine and, and the Ambrose Ogumoro, were at the airport that night. The AG sold everything that he had, including his car. So he asked my driver, Jermaine, to help you know, uh, bring them to the airport. So Jermaine did, you know, but he, he used his uh, own uh, personal uh, uh, transportation. He says despite the many allegations, he still wants to work with the House Minority Lawmakers. Even though they are, you know, uh, trying to impeach me, I, I still want to continue working with them. And I want them to come back, you know, to, to, to me, to work together with me. so that we can help our people. No more of this political, uh, you know, uh, nonsense.